hereby declare you as a candidate, duly nominated, to participate in the votable constituency parliamentary by elections of uh, NRM primaries. Beatrice Malinga is one of the five candidates seeking to represent the NRM in the Butebo County parliamentary seat by election. The seat fell vacant after the death of her husband and then Minister of Disaster Preparedness, Stephen Malinga. Candidates will tussle it out in the NRM primaries on the 11th of May, ahead of the June 6th election. Her interest in the job has started a debate on the political inheritance in Uganda. This comes against the backdrop of about six members of parliament who have seemingly inherited positions previously occupied by a family member in different constituencies after her death or dismissal. These include Florence Nevanda, who replaced her sister Serena Nevanda as Butele Jauman Member of Parliament, Proskovia Lengot, who replaced her father as Member of Parliament for Usuk, Susan Nampija, who also replaced her father John Kenny Ruchamzi for Rubaga South in the 8th Parliament after he was dismissed following the failure to declare his assets, among others. <laughs> For Beatrice Malinga, her vision is to complete the task that her husband started. Oh, I feel it is really a, a, a calling that I should, I should come in for politics because I know what we have been planning together, we've been planning together with my husband, we've been doing everything together, I've been knowing the programs he's pushing to the government, so I feel I should stand. Yet others claim it is demeaning to be considered for sympathy votes. In a country like Uganda, one is given freedom of speech to do what he or she wants, most especially in politics. If one has the qualifications, one is bound to go and contest in his district or constituency. So I believe inheritance is the wrong word to be used here. According to Rubaga South Member of Parliament, Kenny Ruchamzi, the electorate should consider more than sympathy and focus on the candidate's ability to deliver. Most people think that if John Ken Luchams has prominently performed, most likely even the next to the king will do so. Sometimes it is a disappointment. In my own case, it was not a disappointment. The girl performed. Political analyst Ndebesa Mwambutsia, however, takes a contrasting position. He insists that the trend is setting a bad precedent for Uganda's growing democracy. This political dynastic succession does not augur well for the democratic dispensation, more so in a nascent democracy like ours, where we have got a populace that still has some problems of cognitive abilities, where they admire only those who have been in the public space, have got public profile, public limelight, rather than the capabilities that the, the people have. Ndebesa also rubbishes the school of thought that the family members should accomplish the task left by those who for several reasons lose their seat. The issue of I want to complete my father's term, my mother's term, my sister's term does not arise. It is just, just surviving on the gullibility of the peasants, surviving on the ignorance of the peasants, and you would wink them that you have got the blood of leadership is running in your family. Solomon Seruanja, NTV.